Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. Maybe, maybe the final episode of Demon Souls. Um, yeah, today is going to be an interesting one because it's really a 50 50 deal whether I'll be able to finish the game today or not. Uh, a part of me thinks yes. Honestly, we're like right at the end. In fact, you know what? I said it at the last episode that I will finish this game. So I'm going to abide by that and yeah, just do it. However long it takes. So to start again, welcome to the final episode of Demon Souls. Um definitely not the final final episode of this game in terms of that I'm definitely going to do more playthroughs cuz well this is the Souls game to beat right now. Um, and other than that, I've really been enjoying my time. And shit, there is a million ways to make this game broken and just incredibly entertaining. Uh, so why wouldn't I do it? That was a sneaky ear itch, if you didn't know what the hell that was. I don't know why I gave like an ear reach around for myself. It just felt that way. So anyways, hopefully this is going to go a little bit better than the Sekiro episode I recorded a little bit earlier, which was a whole mess. I got to the Mibu village and that shit was... Okay. Eat shit. I didn't know you could parry that. And that shit was a whole mess. I, I got lost. Uh, really badly. I didn't see the path. I just wandered around like a dickhead for quite a long time. I have to like edit something resembling an episode out of that. See, you know, this is these are Souls games. The issue is if you fuck something up, there's no way to re-record, you know. If I was playing, I don't know, Binding of Isaac, I'd just be like, alright, let's start a new playthrough or if I was playing like Street Fighter or like Moron Combat or something, I was like, okay, that was a bad match, I'll just edit it out. But, listen, if you do something and then the second half of an episode ends up being a fuck up, you're kind of stuck there, stuck like that. It's all good though, it's all good. Again, the power of editing will save the day. So yeah, they put this guy here uh, to kind of indicate to you if you're at the start of the game that you probably shouldn't be going here just yet. Because this motherfucker will one-shot you so easily. Anyways, this is what we're here for. This is the homeboy. The ultimate homeboy. This dude is so cool. So I present to you Old King Doran, the super boss of the game. If there ever was a super boss for a Soul series, it will be this guy. Like, this guy is ridiculous. I mean, look at, first of all, look at his armor. That dude is practically naked, and he is taking no damage from what I'm giving him. Um, I'm giving him the pickaxe, and he's just like, fuck are you doing, bitch? And he's just testing us. Now, the thing about Doran is, um, here he doesn't attack, but if you piss him off, which I'm definitely not gonna do, if you piss him off, you will have quite a fight on your hand because this guy, like, basically one-shots any build. Uh, really the only... Thy strength to 
That the, with the eye situation with that armor is a little bit weird. Let's do it. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm about to drop some shit from here. I swear to God. What can I drop? Ah. Uh, I don't know, man. This thing probably is heavy as fuck, too. I really, like, don't have any... Anything... Oh, okay. How about we... Fuck. Me, me and this game's inventory are not friends, believe me. Select. You can do that. You can do that. Cool. Okay. I think I have a solution. That's probably some really heavy shit here. And there isn't. Weirdly, there isn't. I'm just gonna store everything that I don't really need. And it has some semblance of being heavy. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to use... Like, buffs in the future... Oh, this is what that heavy. Then, like, they really did increase the heaviness of items, like dark moon grass, new moon grass is ten and thirteen. Like, why is wheat so heavy? Weed shouldn't be that heavy. And we have demon brand, my main weapon, my chosen main weapon. This thing is cool as hell. It's a great sword. Um, and it has all sorts of good shit going for it. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and get back to the Nexus. I'm gonna cut the boring parts out because... You know, we, we, we gotta be efficient here. We gotta be. I'm gonna mess around a little bit more with my storage. Uh, I think I can get rid of my pickaxe. Sorry pickaxe. You served me well, but... It's time to move on to, you know, greener pastures or something. I'm gonna move... Ed the, probably the sharpening stones are heavy as shit too. Cool. Here... Oh! Good thing I remembered. And we need to retrieve something. We need to retrieve the talisman of God. Because we're going for a real like bamboozle here, believe me. Because obviously this weapon right now doesn't measure up to what I have. Uh, it doesn't measure up to the pickaxe, unfortunately. But that will... Fuck. Ah. Warp to the wrong place. Luckily, you can transition between areas. I do like them quick load times, you know. I, I gotta say, quick load times are very much appreciated. So we're back in Latria. Just very quickly, we need to go to an area that I did not go to before. Because I like beelined it to the boss. It would be good to test out Demon Brand too, a little bit. So obviously the thing is, right now the damage might not be that impressive. But believe me, boss weapons are very strong in this game, once you start upgrading them. And that's why I'm here. You might be like, well, Mr. Sketchhead, I've never played Demon Souls before. How the hell do you upgrade boss weapons? Well, you need something called the Colorless Demon Soul, which we're about to get one of. Not one of, we're going to get the item that is created or traded into colorless demon souls. There are two ways to get these demon souls. One is to 
Uh, get worlds to black world tendency, which is kind of a pain in the ass. As I've mentioned before. The other solution... Just a trade. Uh, really, the thing is... Uh, like, boss weapons tend to be so powerful in this game that... Most of the time it... Ah, oh, fuck you. It's enough to get them upgraded to, like, plus one or two. Yeah, eat shit. In my experience, that's, like, the case. So, yeah, this is where you go. This is where the heart fell. Where that cutscene played out. And aside from these motherfuckers, there are some things here. Like this. This is what we're here for. The gold mask and the... Not the epi rapier, that's a whatever thing for us, but the gold mask for sure. For sure. Cool. Stone of Ephemeral Eye, I'll always take that. Let's just do a quick run around here. And then we can get back to the Nexus. Okay, so our, our next stop is going to be Shrine of Storms. And you can probably guess... Fucking Satsuki or whatever this dude is called. Yeah, it's him. This guy will try to kill us. Isn't that what's gonna happen? Damn, this guy looks much cooler than he used to. I don't think we have Makoto. So anyways, he's looking for the weapon. Uh, I don't remember how to do this quest line. I don't think I've ever done this quest line. The thing is, the Makoto is... Well, the Katana category is kind of shitty in this game. There's like three weapons in it. And two of them are self-damage weapons. So like when you use them, you get damaged as well. There's Hiltless and Makoto, and both of them do that. It's a bit of a shame, if you ask me. A strong Nippon. I thought I thought I, I thought I was out of range. I think you just gotta go up here, right? Yeah. From the tower. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I don't know why I went down. Eh, whatever. You know me and my sense of direction. Cool. So here's what we do. You take the Talisman of God. You drop that shit. Fuck. You still have to quit out. Cool. You do this. Quit out. You know the deal here. Uh, so what, what I'm doing here is I'm trading for two colorless demon souls. Which is pretty good. And the item should be... Uh, bruh. The fuck? What? Where the hell is the item? Did I already... I might have already traded for one. Now that I think about it. I'm so stupid. Well, whatever. Yeah, I've done this. I've done this already. I'm the dumbest fucking idiot. Anyways, it doesn't matter because you do the same thing with the gold mask. Ha! <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm a little bit pissed at this point. Uh, turns out there's a wonderful mechanic in this game where if you put your item down for the crow and you do not wait for it to like confirm that she will take the item you just quit and reload you lose the item and you don't get shit in return I just found it out through the subreddit apparently people have been burned and I just got burned too because I dropped the mask the gold mask for the colorless demon soul I was waiting to get a return I quit and reload and my gold mask is gone it's nowhere to be found and I didn't get a colorless demon soul Mwah. thanks demon souls remake that is absolutely a mechanic that is wonderful that you didn't implement oh fuck and we have to go to the other uh, have to go to the other guy we're almost out of this I promise we are almost out of this so yeah this is a truly a truly a primo mechanic and I'm, I'm I'm super happy that it's implemented like this and it's not been patched yeah feeling wonderful because um, I'll only be able to get my weapon up to plus one instead of plus two cool whatever I mean it's still gonna be probably powerful enough to take on the final boss it's just a little bit I'm a little bit pissy because of it if you cannot tell so you're supposed to give this guy the red hot demon soul I think if you come back there you go searing the I, I think it used to be called red hot demon soul but obviously they're like oh okay because I wanted to yeah we want to upgrade it wait what oh shit it cannot be upgraded I totally forgot the demon brand cannot be upgraded because it goes off of your world tendency doesn't it shit and the other one goes off of your character tendency damn I still thought that this thing could be okay well the last I don't know how many minutes were a waste um, I'll just come out and say it cool I completely forgot that you cannot upgrade this weapon because, yeah, it goes off of your uh, world tendency, I think. Right? The less demonic the soul of the wielder, the more powerful this blade becomes. So it might just go off of character tendency. Which I have fairly good character tendency. I mean, I wasn't evil or nothing. And before we move on, we have one more thing to do. I used up most of my consumables, as you can probably see. So I have quite a few souls now. Um, so we are going to boost ourselves a little bit. Because why not? You know, you have been given an opportunity to boost your ass. And that's what we're going to do. Now with a weapon that's like this, Demon Brand, it's a slower weapon, everything helps. And I didn't even use all my consumables, so think about that. So we turned into human form, because we need that. Cool, let's just clear out grass. And now we are ready for the final boss. Is. So, let's just get going. Basically what we need to do is... 
sprint back to where we were. I mean, these two fools, they can get fucked, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I, I ain't playing with that, even though... Does killing red phantoms affect your character tendency? I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it just might. The crazy thing about it is... Then it actually would help. God, the fu- What? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you, are you actually kidding me? What the shit was that damage? Seriously. Yeah, I'm 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 not even going to fight those two red phantoms like the one with the spear, the tower knight one. He he just straight up he takes like 3 quarters of your health with a heavy attack. So fuck that noise. Oh, okay. Maybe this weapon won't work out. Because it's like way slower than my fucking pickaxe. And it's doing about the same damage. Which, you know... A little bit counterintuitive. Anyways, you can run past this guy, can't you? I've done this run back before a thousand times. I know you can run past him. He's gotta be kinda specific. See ya! Believe me, you need to get used to this run back. First time you're playing the game at least. And luckily... I am used to this run back. I said I am used to this run back. That was a one time mistake. Uh, it doesn't happen too often. Oh fuck. I have a bad feeling about these people. Right now I kinda do. Because I feel like this, this weapon is so, sort of worthless. Uh, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I really am hoping. But, um, things ain't looking too hot right now. We tell you that much. Anyways, you can kill this drake if you stand under here and it takes like a million years. It does free you from the pain of the run back. But I don't know. Really, it only becomes difficult if Bjor dies. Then it becomes annoying. Because the dragon is all concentrated on you. Oh, I don't know, boys. This damage ain't looking too hot. Man, I completely forgot that this weapon was this shitty. Um, not that I've ever used this thing before. Believe me. Just, I thought that it, it at least would do, like, bust-ass damage. For like being the main sort of like lore centric badass weapon of the series, I mean, or, or the game. Eat shit, bitch. 
I mean the backstab. I mean the uh, parries do a lot of damage. Ouch. Sorry, Ostrava. Man, it's really cool how black phantoms die in this game. I gotta be honest with you. Cool, final boss time, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not exactly... 100% confident, especially since I was so confident before that I deposited my fucking... <laughs> my weapon, my pickaxe. I should've kept that shit around. Cause boy, do I think we're gonna need it. Anyways, we've done harder things than this before, so just stop whining and get to it. Nice seal. This isn't really the. I mean, the, technically, I I'd count this guy as the final boss of the game. Uh, the next one is like a bit of a joke. This, this, guy, this guy is the final one. Oh, the haptic feedback is really cool. The elevator. This is the bitchiest elevator in the game. It will straight, like, straight up send your ass back downstairs if you're not quick enough. Throne room looking pretty cool. How does this guy look? It's sort of the same. He's more high def for sure. And this was always one of the better looking character models in the game. Cool. The old king, Aelant. Oh, you're gonna start off with that. Cool. Yeah, go ahead and start with that. Fuck off game. Seriously? I'm a little bit unhappy right now. I wasn't expecting a lot of damage. But I was expecting more than this. This ain't, this ain't gonna work. This is not gonna work. Thought I would be cool. I spent like all the episode fucking grinding for Demon Brand. And it's uh, an absolute piece of shit. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. So as we go up the elevator, I think there is a lesson to be learned here. And that lesson would be, do not mess with a setup that works. Listen, if you got a good setup going, don't fuck with it. You like the pickaxe, it's a good weapon, it works relatively fast. Yeah, you know, why, why stir the hornet's nest? We, we learned our lesson with Demon Brand. I'm sure there are like situations where this weapon, um, I mean Demon Brand, is okay. Uh, whatever that situation is, this was not that. And I should have waited a little bit longer. Oh well. Just go. Just go. So yeah. Let's try this again. Slightly better equipped this time around. That's more like the damage I've come to expect. I mean... Demon Brand was dealing pretty much the same. But again, it's the, s the speed of the attacks. That's where the difference lies. So, I didn't even get to talk about this guy. Uh, so he's Old King Alant, final boss of Demon Souls. He's pretty cool. Uh, he's sort of... I don't know. 
Like, he's definitely the most difficult... He's definitely the most difficult boss of this game. Which doesn't mean much. In context, really. Because, obviously, the... The general difficulty of this game is a lot lower. I would say he's like on the level of an... I don't know, maybe an Artorias? Something akin to that. I mean, he's fast as fuck. And he has that attack, which is a motherfucker, because it de-levels you. But other than that... This big blast, that's what he has. Um, I don't know. This guy's kind of weird. He gets stun locked, which is a little bit strange, you know. They did like humanoid bosses a bit differently. The thing about uh, this point in the game, first of all, you're very powerful. He has some like weird bonk smoke coming off of him. Holy shit. So yeah, you're bound to be very powerful at this point in the game. The other thing is that because he is the final boss, you really have no reason, you know, to like save your good shit. Like full moon grass all the way type deal. And especially, you know, in vanilla, where he used to, where you used to be able to carry 99 of all the healing items. This boss was an absolute joke. I mean, he's cool though. He definitely has that going for him. This is one of the coolest bosses in the game, I'd say. Yeah, that's his big attack. And he does damage. One of the things, again, that de-leveling attack is probably the realest shit he does. Because what it does is it de-levels you, but you lose the stat, but you don't lose the level, if I remember correctly. Uh, so it takes, it still takes that amount of soul to get that one point back. So you really don't want to get hit by that. Uh, so that was the False King. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And he was looking out from his like little Iron Throne ass area uh, from here. How did you defeat my demonic his voice is kind of bunk. Sounds like Mall Santa. And beckoned we will be. The man who wielded untold power calmly watched over the kingdom from on high was not in fact old King Alan, but a demonic imposter who stood in his for in his place. Can't even read. Oh well, this is a long ass hell recording because I fucked around so much with Demon Brand. I'm gonna like cut half of this shit out because it was it was useless in the end. Oh well, again. I could use Demon Brand for this though. Because there are no stakes here. Let's do that. Let's do something symbolic. Nice. That is cool. I mean, listen boys. Particle effects, you got that shit down. Where is that bitch Demon Brand? Listen, if you're not gonna be useful for the final boss at least be useful for the final boss <laughs> ah cool what up girl i'm curious about high def old one not gonna lie let's do it obviously at this point in the game you cannot level up um you gotta wait for 
New Game Plus. I feel like we have a good thing going with this character in terms of fashion souls. We got that shit down. Here we go. Spider-Man Far From Home. Or No Way Home. That's the new one. Are they going to the multiverse? Man. I don't want to say anything sacrilegious here, but I really don't like the new Spider-Man movies, any of them. I like Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I think he is much more fitting, you know. But I just do not like that. Like, he's Iron Man Jr., you know, or Spider-Iron or whatever. This thing looks cool as hell. Holy shit, look at all the, like, swords and shit. Are those swords... Yeah, this thing looks way cooler than... Bad, that, that is badass. It's still kind of a goofy design. But man, the, like, the scale of him is uh, like a lot better conveyed. Yeah, that, that's the thing, the, the perspective. Like, this thing didn't look that big uh, in the original game, but here he looks fucking colossal. It looks like Sin from... I always thought this thing looked like Sin from Final Fantasy. I know Sin is kind of more fish-like, but still. Epic. Man, look at them swords, though. This thing is really cool. I'm super impressed. Let us proceed to its she said that much better. Uh, and the, the only thing that's kind of a shame is the voice acting for the maiden. Used to be way better, I think. You can buff this thing? No, you cannot. For a second, I thought. And this is the real King Alant. The thing about this game's lore is that I find it to be a lot less ambiguous. Uh, there are some hints that like the main religion of the game and all that are not exactly benevolent and they're actually worshipping the old one and all that but really in this game there is a clear uh, good ending and bad ending so that's one of the things that sets it apart. It's not as like ambiguous as the other Souls games. Alant, fuck you. Suicidal final boss, how original. I'm only kidding, of course. And you can get Soul Brand, which is the other version of the weapon. That one goes off of black character tendency. If you do evil shit.
And with that, we have to say goodbye to our waifu. Unfortunately, she's staying. Thank you for always being a homie. And of course, if you want to be bad, you can go and kill her. But why would you? Why would you kill your waifu? You're one waifu in this game. It's just evil. That the evil ending is really evil in this game. That's the reason I don't often go for it. I'm sure, there's a trophy attached to it or something, but <laughs> who gives a shit? Yeah, no more magic for you. The souls lost during the pandemonium were never retrieved. And today, the unstable world has another monumental to hold its fabric together. The brave new hero of unprecedented power. That's us. I really like his redesign. I don't know what the shit that was on his back. It looked like a solar system. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Demon Souls. This game, I mean, listen, here's the thing about this game. Um, it's Demon Souls, like, with a reskin. Uh, Pretty much everybody knew that this is what it, what what this game is like. They didn't radically alter the game itself, aside from like a few quality of life adjustments, which were very much needed. Um, much of this game remains. Oh shit! Okay, that was bad. Remains untouched. Which, listen, you might like, you might not. I'm kind of halfway. I feel like there were a couple of more mechanics they could have touched. Uh, which would have like really 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 improved the game, but I also do understand leaving something as it is I've always said that this game is a product of its time. I mean From software new to this genre. This was the first Game <laughs> the legend that is the original Demon Souls and its diehard community That is awesome Umbasa Umbasa indeed because yeah the Demon Souls community was and is absolutely crazy I mean they kept the servers running for God knows how long after the like official servers have been shut down it's absolutely crazy how dedicated people are to this game for good reason because I mean I always said this game is awesome sure it's not as complex as the other Souls games sure it's not as difficult Sure, there are some quirky mechanics, but at its core, this is a really awesome game, uh, and it gives you a lot of like flexibility. Um, who is this Takeshi Kaji? I don't actually know who that is, but I'll look him up. I'm assuming it's somebody from FromSoft. So, anyways, yeah, I also understand leaving. Um, leaving the game as is, which is a bit fucking I'm talking over like in memoriam messages. I'm sorry. Um rip to this person, obviously. So this game looks fantastic and they really did a good job with it. This this remake is is sick and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Again, just for the fact that we have an accessible version of Demon Souls. I would have been happy if they just fucking ported it onto PlayStation Network, like the original. I would have been content with that because my issue with Demon's Souls was always that it was kind of a pain in the ass for me to play. Because you either had to emulate it or like set up your PlayStation 3 and all that. My head is like fucked up, whatever. But the fact that they improved the graphics, they did some quality of life changes, I'm super happy. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up 
this first playthrough of Demon's Souls. This really is a first playthrough because I will be back for more, obviously. I, I do like this game a lot and there is a lot to do. In terms of like quest lines, different builds and all that. So really happy with it. I mean, PlayStation 5, awesome graphics, quick loading. This this is cool. If you if you have this this console, I which is probably not many of you, um, I was in that camp for a long time as well. Uh, I, I truly think this is a game that's absolutely worth picking up. So I'll end it here. Stop babbling. There's a lot more of this game coming later. Sekiro will be finishing as well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you on my other stuff as well. Peace out and goodbye.